able to meet the Wallaces. Tyler, Jamie, and their two kids, Oakley and Harper. If you met them on the street, you would never guess that they adopted these two kids through the foster to adopt process. They adopted Oakley, who was the first foster child my family had, and a year and a half later, they adopted his full biological sister, Harper. When I asked Jamie what she would tell someone if they asked, why should I become a foster parent? She answered, look at my family. I would not have them without taking the steps to become a foster parent. Have you considered being a foster parent? Well, 42% of you have said yes, and 37 said yay, uh, maybe, and 21 said no. So you all kind of have considered it overall. So the need for foster parents is on the rise due to a growing number of children entering the foster care system. I have been part of a foster family for the last five years and have done hours of research on this topic, not only for this project, but multiple others. By now, you may be thinking, I'm just in college, why should I care? Well, I've realized this and want to point out that I'm not challenging you to be a foster parent today or tomorrow or next week, maybe not in the next five years. But I think as the need continues to grow, as responsible citizens, we should acknowledge the need and know what we can do to make a difference. Today, I'm going to show you the need for more foster families, where the children are coming from that need fostered, and why you can, should consider being a foster parent at some point in your life. Now, I would like to start by addressing the need for more foster families. There is a dire need for more foster families in the United States. Um, as are more children than ever are entering the foster care system. Here are some statistics from the Department of Health and Human Services that show it. In 2010 to 2012, you can see that there was a decrease in the number of children entering the system, but as of 2012 through the present, the number has been jumping greatly. And so as you can clearly see, there's a need for more foster families. So now I want to explain why these kids need foster homes. While there are countless of reasons why children are being removed from their houses, one of the main reasons that I want to talk about today is neglect due to drug abuse. So as you can see, neglect is any recent action or failure to act as a parent, and drug abuse is an example of this because um, children or parents become incapable of parenting when they are using drugs. So the Pew Charitable Trust has done research on this and found astounding numbers on the use of drugs and the impact it's having on the foster care system. So in Georgia, they found 40% of the time when a child is removed from their home, it's um, because substance abuse was uh, involved in some way. In Ohio, where more than 9,900 children are in foster care, nearly half of them were taken into custody last year because their parents were using drugs. So now that I've given you a lot of numbers, I wanna show you some examples that I have seen in my life through fostering. So this is Cameron and Caden, and they came to us when they were two days and 10 months old. And Cameron, this was his second time being placed in foster care, because 10 months earlier, when he was born, he was born addicted to drugs as well. And when Caden came when he was two days old, he weighed about five pounds, because he was born a month early because his mom was doing drugs the morning he was born which induced his labor and so as you can see in the top picture he's in a car bed because he was too small to be in a car seat like he couldn't hold up his head and it would have cut off his airway and then down below you can see some of the withdrawals he had because he was addicted to drugs he would hold himself really small and you could barely open his arms to change him and he would have tremors and different things like that as he withdraw and this is king he came to live with us when he was 12 days old because he spent 12 days in the hospital because they gave him some of the drugs to take him off so his withdrawal was less severe. And then a withdrawal that we still saw once he was at our house was he kept his eyes closed for about two weeks because it was just too much for him to have his eyes open. So now that you have seen some of the kids and why they've entered the foster care system, um, it's time for you to know why other people have already joined this movement to help the foster care crisis. So why are people becoming foster parents? There are lots of reasons that people are, and here are the four of the top main reasons that I've chose from my own experience of being around foster care. The first one I chose is foster care is a mission field. And this is my mom up here. She probably won't be very happy about this picture. <laughs> but this is something that she feels really strongly about, and. She's always wanted to give back and she has dreams of going across the world 
but she found foster care is something that she can do right here in our own house with her job and our family where she feels she's making a difference in the world and in the lives of the kids we have every day. Another one is foster care is a way that we can break generational bad parenting. The boys, Cameron and Caden, came from a family where we could look at their great grandparents, their grandparents, their parents, and then them all being part of the foster care system in some way. And they were all incapable of parenting these boys in the end because they ended up getting adopted. So they'll be the first generation in their family in years that have the chance of making a difference in this world and making it a better place. And foster care is also about giving children the chance to be part of a loving family. A lot of children today that are in foster care come from families that might not be showing love to each other or just aren't ideal circumstances for them. So we have the chance to show them what an ideal home looks like and what they should aim for someday in their own family. And foster care is also a test of unconditional love and understanding. And this point I got from talking to Jamie because she adopted these two boys, or this Oakley and Harper, and Oakley is now starting preschool. And he doesn't really learn as fast as other kids and he might have a learning disability. They're not really sure yet, but she has to realize and remind herself every day that this isn't her DNA and there's nothing she can do about it, but she chose that she was gonna love him unconditionally and understand with him and everything he's gonna go through. So I hope that some of these reasons resonate with you as a possible candidate for a foster family. As you can see, there are children out there in need of homes where they can grow and develop. There are more children entering the foster care system than ever before because of poor parenting practices such as drug use. Due to the need for um, foster, more foster parents is on the rise, and we are all capable people who have the possibility of changing a child's life by being a foster parent. I want to leave you with a story. Um, it's called the Starfish Story, and the first time I heard it was when my parents brought it home from one of their first classes. And the more I think about it, and um, the more I know about foster care, the more re relevant I believe this story is. So, there was a young man walking along the ocean, and he saw a beach on which thousands and thousands of starfish have washed ashore. Further along, he sees an old man walking slowly and stopping often, picking up one starfish after another and tossing them each gently into the ocean. Why are you throwing the starfish into the ocean, he asked. Um, Don't you realize that there's miles and miles of beach and starfish all along it? You can't possibly save them all. You can't even save a tenth. In fact, even if you work all day, your efforts won't make a difference at all. The old man listened calmly and then bent down and picked up another starfish and threw it to the sea. I made a difference to that one. You have the chance to make a difference in a world where children just want to be loved.